Hey guys, it's Heidi, and today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Pop Chef. For those of you who don't know, the Pop Chef is an Assy on TV infomercial product, which helps you make edible arrangements, like the really expensive ones that you can have sent to people's houses. And it supposedly is just as easy as one, two, three. Just push, pop, and make mouth-watering masterpieces. So what I have here is um, a Pop Chef. This one came from Walmart. It comes with the circle, the heart, the flower, the butterfly, the sun, and the star. Um, fun fact, I was originally going to buy this at um, Michael's because I had a 50% off coupon and it's $10.99 at Michael's. So I was like, oh good, I'll get it for you know, like five or six bucks. But the 50% uh, off coupon did not apply to this. So I'm not sure if it's because it's, you know, a third party product or whatever. But at Walmart, I only paid seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. So if you're gonna go looking for these in one of a, one of your local stores, um, I would go to Walmart because I only paid seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. So I haven't even opened it yet. Now I've dropped it, but I haven't even opened it yet. And I just wanted to do the unboxing with you guys, and I wanted to do the whole experience. I will lower my camera. I have cut up some cantaloupe and some watermelon. Um, just for the sake of this demo, I'm only using those two fruits. I'm not going to cut open a pineapple or anything like that because I'm afraid that it might not go well, so I don't want to waste a bunch of fruit. Alright, so let's take this out of the packaging. Alright, so here's what it looks like. You've got the shapes and the tubes and the squeezer thing. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to pull up. Oh look! I went to Publix and bought skewers, but it comes with a little starter pack of skewers. I don't know, there's probably like 20 in here. Not very many, but it does come with some skewers. I didn't know that. And the directions. So it should be pretty simple, I would think. For best results, slice food one inch thick or thinner. It needs air pressure. Overripe fruit may not pop as easy. If the if it gets stuck, you use a skewer to get it out. Okay, simple enough. Well, let's just use the heart, which is already on there, just like this. This is what it looks like. You squeeze to get it out. It's just suction. Um, so yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm just going to stick it into this piece of cantaloupe. Let me... And from what I have seen, um, if you like stack them up, it comes out easier. So let's do a couple. And Let's pop them out. So they did come out with the exception of one. There's one still stuck in there. But the one that did come out, here's an example. Very cute, a little heart. I like that. Let's see if I can get this one out. Uh, okay, it took a little bit, but there's a heart. All three of them came out really cute. I like them. I'd, I'd use them to make a little edible arrangement. Let's try the same shape, the heart, on the watermelon. See how that does. Uh-oh. Let me go all the way through, I guess. So I got a little... This watermelon's a lot thicker than I thought it was cut. So let's, um, let's get those out. Okay, I got some of the rind, but I mean, just for the sake of looking, there's a heart, and that one came, that one's pretty thick. Um, yeah, so other than um, getting a little bit stuck, I think it works the way it says it's supposed to. I am going to continue popping out shapes, and I'm going to try some other ones um, off camera, and then I will come back and show you guys how it went. Okay, so I've popped out a few more different shapes. I tried the heart, the star, and the butterfly. And I will let you see my plate of shapes here. Um, I can tell you one thing. 
my watermelon was definitely overripe, at least for this project. Which I'm not sure what, what I think about that because if your watermelon is hard and dry, it's not going to taste very good. So I'm not sure what I think. But um, I'm not making an edible arrangement today, but for the sake of showing you, I'm going to try to skewer some just to see how they hold up because I honestly feel like these really soft watermelon pieces are just going to slide. But we'll see. Um, I did have issues with the star mold. You can see I only have one cantaloupe star and that's because the other two got stuck and I had to get them out with a knife and they fell apart into pieces. So, yeah. See, this is what I'm worried about. See this? Watch. This is just gonna... It's... Yep, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. It's not gonna hold up on a skewer because it's so ripe and watery. But, I think the cantaloupe will. Because it's nice and firm. So maybe this would be better with, like, pineapple and cantaloupe and even, like, mango, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's try one of the more sturdy pieces. And you know, I guess you could always wedge the watermelon between two pieces of cantaloupe. You know, just start and finish with cantaloupe for the sake of your own sanity. Um, yeah, I don't have any more shapes. See how this one was so thick that it just kind of like split apart? That's not going to work. This one's really thick, but I don't think it's going to break. These are pretty heavy. All right, now let's finish with a cantaloupe butterfly. Oh, I didn't put a star in here. Oh, let's put a star in here. So that's what a skewer would look like. I do think it's very cute. I think it is true to what the box shows and true to like the infomercials on TV. Um, I'm not sure how easy it would be to make an arrangement and I'd be interested to see how it works with other fruits and they also say you can use it for like cheese and lunch meat. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I feel like the cheese would get stuck. But yeah. Um Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you buy the Pop Chef, definitely get it at Walmart because it's cheaper. I think it's cute. Kids would like it. Good for a Mother's Day present, perhaps. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.